Do you feel severe acidity all the time? Then you must know the reasons behind it. So let's dive into the video. The esophagus is a muscular canal that connects the mouth to the stomach. In severe acidity the acid along with other stomach contents flows back into the esophagus. Acid reflux may trigger bronchospasm leading to asthma. This causes heartburn, it is a burning sensation radiating toward the mouth from the chest. Regurgitation, chest pain, dental erosion and laryngitis, cough, breathing difficulties. There are two structures that prevent the backflow of these contents. The crural diaphragm acts as an external sphincter and the lower esophageal sphincter, which presents at the junction of the esophagus and stomach, plays a vital role in preventing acid reflux. The opening of this sphincter is naturally induced during swallowing, which helps to remove excess air from the stomach. This lower sphincter relaxes, without swallowing, in the person suffering from acid reflux disease. This causes gastric acid to flow back into the esophagus leading to irritation of the protective layer of the esophagus, which leads to its damage and symptoms such as heartburn. The frequent peristalsis in the esophagus and saliva, dilute and clears these acidic contents in a normal person. The impaired peristalsis causes acid reflux. This generally occurs after meals and in a reclined position. There are no tests available to confirm this disease. But if the person responds to the acid reflux disease treatment, it can be confirmed. It can be treated with lifestyle management, such as weight loss. The person must avoid having dinner 3 hours before bedtime, and get uninterrupted sleep to improve the lower sphincter tone. Diet must be free from chocolates, caffeine, spicy foods, citrus fruits, and carbonated drinks. Medical therapy such as antacids, is recommended for a person, who does not respond to lifestyle management. The person who does not want to take long-term medications, or experience side effects and complications, is advised to have surgery. If you feel severe acidity don't ignore it because it has many complications such as ulceration, Barrett's esophagus leads to adenocarcinoma, and narrowing and tightening of the esophagus lead to swallowing difficulties. Thank you for watching this video guys, if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.